Hello friends, it's Louisa and this is Vlogmas Day 23. I can't believe that. Gosh, where did the time go? Time is fleeting. Oh my goodness. But in today's video, we are going to be going Disney antiquing. I'm excited because I haven't been antiquing really in a while. The last time I remember going was right before Thanksgiving and I knew that the antique mall that I wanted to go to had a specific item and I wanted to go and get it because I wanted to put it in a swap box before I sent it out and so I went and they had it and I spent maybe 10 to 15 minutes in the store kind of browsing and then I had to go and if you know anything about me and antique stop antique stops stop the antiquing I have a problem no if you know anything about me and antique stores uh 10 to 15 minutes is just scratching the surface if i'm if it's like a good antiquing trip and i am checking out every booth every vendor it takes like two hours so like that's not even a normal 10 to 15 minutes is nothing to me so i do have the day off of work today which is nice so i have some time to go and actually not just scratch the surface but actually go looking at antiques and it has been a while so i'm excited for that i am looking for a few presents perhaps but i'm also just you know looking and ready to have fun and we haven't really gone antiquing at all throughout the vlogmas journey so this is gonna be this is gonna be fun so let's go <laughs> stay alive the ultimate survival game haven't we been playing that like the past two years <laughs> oh i love this electronic mall madness oh, 75 dollars wow Woo, the talking shopping spree game. Oh man, as someone who works in a mall, this looks so fun. <laughs> I know a lot of my viewers love the Muppets, so look at this Muppets lunchbox. How cute. And it's only $45, which is pretty cool. Nobody has ever called me Lulu, but is this me as an antique? I'm high quality, I'm $135. Don't worry, I checked with Jake of Jake's Disney Afternoon. He has all of these, but oh my gosh, this is like bringing up a memory. I definitely, I think I had this one out of this series, but I forgot that there had been Tailspin toys at McDonald's and um, Yep, we have a complete set here for $10, but I forgot, my brothers must have eaten a Happy Meal back in the 90s, and then this was in our big McDonald's like toy box, we just had a bunch of figurines and stuff, because I remember seeing these before, but I haven't seen all of them, so, wow, this is taking me back, but look how fun! Alright, first Disney specifically holiday item, this is Minnie Plays the Flu, Mickey's Holiday Parade. And it's $5.50, but that's really cute. I didn't even notice that that was Minnie for a second, but that's pretty cute. Aw. I also have some Winnie the Pooh and gang ornaments in here. Um, this is a Disney Store one of Tigger, so 1996. And Tigger is kind of having some problems standing up, but he has a bell. And it is $5.50. And we have this Lennox Winnie the Pooh. 2012 and this is 22.50 not sure if this is an ornament i guess it looks like an ornament but very nice look at this piglet it's a merry miniature and look piglet is stuck in the stocking or he just can fit in there and it's four figurines for six dollars or this one figurine is six dollars it's piglet it's so cute look at this adorable muppet babies puzzle Aww. Eight dollars here. Originally, you could get this at Walmart, but oh, so this thing called Jim Henson's Bedtime Stories, and it's like a binder thing. Hold on, I'm gonna stick this down because that's kind of hard to hold in one hand. But fifteen dollars, Jim Henson Bedtime Stories. Yeah, it's kind of like a binder, and the pages are laminated, which is nice because sometimes the paper, you know, kids can get stuff on them. But like, hmm. Look at how cute this is, and there's two of them over there, so I bet they're probably the same, but look at that. 
so I like this one's different. It's also fifteen dollars, but like, see how the tabs are different? It says the mother shell, not the babies. And so there's different ones in here. So wow, this is super cute. Look at this gorgeous Esmeralda and Jolly uh, ornament from Hallmark. Six ninety nine here, but that's awesome. I wonder is he like connected to her dress or like? Cause I don't see an ornament hook on him, so I don't think it's separate, but that's really cool. Wow, we hit the jackpot for Disney ornaments. This booth always has awesome Disney ornaments. So we got Pinocchio, we got Geppetto. I don't know if he's actually an ornament, if he's just a figure. Also, can we acknowledge how the price tag is on his butt? <laughs> and then we got Tigger as an angel here. We got this Minnie Mouse one in the back. Mickey sledding on a Mickey Mouse eared shaped sled, pretty cute. Dumbo, some classic Snow White, and one of the dwarves, maybe Bashful. And then we got Jimmy Cricket, this cute one of Flounder. And so those are all pretty cute. And we have this Happy Diploma Day of Mickey. All the wishes. Is it dated? Yes, 1999. Hats off to you, graduate. Very cute. $6.99. Look at these huge posters. I do kind of like, um, oh man, the villain in episode one. The name is escaping me. Darth Maul. Yes, Darth Maul's eyes over the top of this. But the clipper, clipper and kitten. Look, a huge Donald Duck poster. Look at how beautiful that is. Look at this vintage Pluto ornament. Still in the back. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to see it here. The Walt Disney Productions. Yeah. $10, that's really cool. Oh, look at this Mickey and Minnie mug. Oh, under the mistletoe, that's so sweet. Oh, and this is only, what, $4.50? Well, that's nice. Some Disney ornaments in this booth. For example, we have Gus and Jacques in Cinderella shoes for 18 Then we have a Monsters, Inc. one selling like a mule for 22 and this isn't really that antique but man, I don't know if it's for $7.50. So, yeah, we've got some different Disney ornaments in here. Look at this adorable play school puzzle of Mickey and Donald. It's $12. Aww. Again, that Walt Disney Productions label. Oh my god, look at this adorable Tigger puzzle of him taking a bath that he has his rubber ducky. <laughs> That is so cute. And look, we have a Winnie the Pooh one too. But this is him riding his horse pretending to be a cowboy. No. I'm gonna assume this one's also 12. Yes. Oh, those are precious. I love those so much. I'm a little obsessed with this genie ornament. It's so cute. Like he has gifts from everyone. It says from Abu, from Aladdin, and he's obviously going traveling. It's only five dollars, I think. That's a bargain, right? Yeah, $5. Cool. And he has this goofy hat on, I love it. This could come in handy when measuring packages that I'm sending for box swaps. <laughs> Look at this vintage Donald ornament. Wow. And it is $12.95, but wow. That is really, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get a good grip on it. That is gorgeous. Aww. We also have this wonderful ornament. I wonder if it's homemade or handmade. And it's a $4 ornament but like look how cool that is it's really cute and this is just a figure not an ornament but look at this little santa goofy three dollars i got to meet santa goofy back in 2019 it was everything i ever hoped it to be i can't remember if, sh if i've showed this in a video before but it is a flick ornament from a book slide and he's using leaves as skis and branches and the tops of acorns as the poles and it's so cute. I love how creative it is and you never see a Bugs Life stuff so I don't know. Thought I'd show. Look at these adorable miniatures. He's a miniature Panchito from Three Couple Euros and then we have a miniature Briar Rabbit. Wow, well, sorry. For $10 as well on the back there. Ooh. Look at his Dalmatian stocking. Oh, that is so cute for 
Wow. Hello all, I am back. I was in there for about two hours. It was a nice long antique trip and um, it was really fun. I found a lot of great stuff. I hope that you guys enjoyed what I found as well. I did get some items, but they are presents and only one of them is Disney related air quotes um, but also not at the time Disney related so not quite <laughs> so I'm not gonna show you guys that but um, yep I hope that you enjoyed this video I had a lot of fun we found a lot of fun stuff so please give this video a like comment down below what was your favorite item that we saw today and please hit that red subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of whenever I post a brand new video cuz soon it won't be every day. <laughs> and if you want even more of me, you can find me on Instagram at louisa.ruby. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you again tomorrow for my next video. Bye!